Here is a section of a brain. It's called brain Alzheimer's disease or Alzheimer disease. Please note that it is not stained with our old friend uh, hematoxylin and eosin and therefore the whole tissue is not pink like most of our other stuff is. It's stained with a special stain that emphasizes neural processes. But nevertheless, please note, you could tell that here's an area of meninges and basically this is uh, the brain cortex. And you know that these little jagged clefts are nothing but artifacts of tissue processing. Now, we could take a long time uh, looking for the characteristic findings of Alzheimer's disease, or we could take advantage of the fact that somebody nice put little labels on here. Of course, if we wanted to look on our own, we could find them. And please note that there are two things here. Uh, these two things are labeled P for plaque, and this one smaller area is labeled T. Well, the two characteristic features of Alzheimer's disease are neurofibrillary, neurofibrillary plaques, which is P, and neurofibrillary tangles. The plaques are large. They are extra neuronal. And if you look, I think you could see that these little neural black neural strands are kind of tangled up. Uh, nevertheless, they're called plaques because they're very big. Please notice that the tangles are within the neuron. So uh, trying to keep things uh, uncomplicated, let's say that neurofibrillary plaques are extra neuronal collections of substances, degenerated substances, and a substance uh, which is the characteristic substance of Alzheimer disease called beta amyloid, and they're larger than the tangles. The tangles are strictly uh, neural processes within the neuron. If you were to measure the substance associated with these tangles, you would find that it is beta amyloid. Where is Alzheimer's found within the brain? Well, I guess it could be found anywhere, but remember, it's a cognitive disease, so you're going to see a lot of these things in the frontal and uh, uh, parietal cortex, you know, where a, cog a lot of cognition takes place. But uh, neurofibrillary plaques and tangles of Alzheimer's disease uh, can be found in many different parts of the brain. Thank you very much.